Shalom. Back with uh, part three, all right? We have been quickened, okay? Talking about the elect has been quickened, all right? Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 37. Again, this is a precept that I'm taking you to to show you that, uh, again, we were spiritually, mentally dead, all right? And uh, now that we have this truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, fear has come over, you know, Esau, Edom, and the uh, other 16 heathen nations, all right? They're scared, all right? And in particular, Esau, more so. All right, so Ezekiel chapter 37, the valley of dry bones, okay? The hand of the Lord Yahweh was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, all right? That valley is the valley of the shadow of death, Mark of Babylon, the great people. All right. And caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, right, of dry bones. They were very dry. Okay. Again, all right. We were spiritually, mentally dead. All right. That's what the dry bones are. All right. Referring to. Okay. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. And again he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. See, that's how we are quickened. Didn't we read that? Didn't we read that? Yes, we did. Right? This is how we are quickened. We are quickened by the word. All right? By this truth, this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding. All right? Okay, in other words, look, not everybody wakes up at the same time. But again, these, those of us that, that have been awoke, uh, do this work, make these videos, go out there, street trees, starting with our elbows on down, we were called in. And nobody walks in unawares. You have to be called in. You have to be chosen. Many are called for you chosen. Now, we don't know if we're of the elect till we go up into those ships. But it's a good idea that, you know, the work that we do, all right, bringing you this truth, all right, rightfully dividing the word of truth onto you and doing what we've been commanded to do, yeah, there's a very good chance because the scriptures will tell you that. You know, that, you know, if you're diligent, okay, well, if you do this work, all right, continually, right, right, even to the end, all right, uh, to make thy calling and election sure you shall never fall. Okay, that's 2 Peter 1.10. All right, so that, that gives you some assurances. All right, but again, this is, this is all by, you know, the grace and mercies of the Most High and the Son. All right, we have nothing to do with that. All right. But yeah, you would have to be called in in order to come into this truth, okay? You would have had to have been chosen, all right? And again, when that was done, that was taken, that was done uh, before the foundation of the world began. You were sanctified, which means you were separated from the rest of mankind, and this was ordained, this was decreed. And all this took place in the heavens before the foundation of the world, before the world began. He did this to certain Israelites. And you find that out when you look up the word uh, election in the blue letter. Like right there at uh, 2 Peter 1.10. Okay? You look it up in the blue letter. All right? And then after you finish reading, scrolling and reading, Scroll back up, hit the root etymology word, and you get more wisdom, more knowledge, more understanding of that. But again, it'll tell you, that chosen, that God's elect, are Israelites. Okay? You understand? And in order to be a Christian, you'd have to be an Israelite, people. All right? So all these people going around here calling themselves Christian, that's self-imposed, just like their titles. Pope, bishop, cardinal, priest, pastor, minister. Those are all self-imposed titles. They're not teaching you the truth. The men that are on the street corners, okay, starting with our elders on down, 
all right? And bringing you these videos, there's your prophets, okay? The ones that are rightfully dividing the word of truth, they're your prophets. And if you're looking for probably one of the, the best camps, if not tops, that would be GMS. Go to them. All right, watch their videos. All right, and I'm not a part of GMS. All right. All right, anyway. Thus saith uh, the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. You see that? All right? And that's that truth, wisdom, knowledge, understanding of these scriptures. And I will lay some news upon you, and ye will bring flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. There you go. So I prophesied as commanded, and uh, as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, the shaking of the bones came together, bone to his bone. All right? And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and skin covered them, and there was no breath in them. All right? And then he said unto me, prophesied unto the wind, prophesied, son of man, say unto the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. And so I prophesied, as he commanded me, and breath came into them, right? This true wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and they lived. And that's what we're doing. And stood upon their feet, just like we read in Revelations, the 11th chapter, 11, 11, right? That we stood on our feet, and fear came over the other nations, right? So we stood upon our feet, an exceedingly great army. Okay? You understand? All right. Uh, let's get back to, uh, uh, what do you call it? Ephesians. All right? Let's get back to Ephesians. All right? All right. So where in time past he walked according to the course of this world, right? We were, we were what? In darkness, we walk to darkness. Okay, and the world is in gross darkness. Uh, give me a minute. That right, is Isaiah 60 and 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and the gross darkness the people. You see that? And we were, again, we were all part, whatever, you know, Roman Catholicism, you know, uh, you know, uh, Baptist, Pentecostal, you know, Protestantism, Calvinism, whatever. It's all Christianity, and it all comes under the umbrella of the Vatican, all right? So it doesn't really matter, all right? And it's all created to keep you from coming into the truth, all right? To keep you in the dark. Did they ever tell you who the wicked is? Did they ever tell you who the Israelites are? Because the scriptures tell you, okay? They tell you. So, sorry, people, there's no excuse, all right? And it's also in circular history. All right? The Edomite scholars themselves were telling you who the Israelites are. All right? Going back to like the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, early 19th century, they were telling you who they are. All right? Not to mention, you know, for many years now, modern day. All right? And this word, this truth, has been going out, starting with uh, Abba Bivens, One West, you know, and they also became known as the seven, all right? And then, of course, the men that came under them, that learned from them, all right? Like Elder Apostle Taha, you know, who's still around, all right? And the men under him, and the bishops, all right? So, but this word has been going out since what? The 1960s? The 1970s? Now, again, as the Lord says uh, in... Uh, Matthew's the 24th chapter, all right, the end will not come till this word go out to the four corners of the earth. Then the end will come. Well, that didn't happen till the internet, and that started in 2007, okay? So that's what, 15 years ago. And now you people can see, all right, that Esau's kingdom is at its end, all right? What's, you know, the MOTB, and the uh, Karagma is issued. 
then guess what? You already know the missiles will be coming. Right after that, America's destruction. All right? There you go, people. All right? That's how you measure the time. All right? All right, so... Uh, for behold, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, but the Lord Yahweh shall arise upon thee, right? There you go. You see that? Right? He has quickened us. Shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. There you go. All right? Yeah. With that light, all right, shining in the darkness that is uh, the valley of the shadow of death, America, Babylon, the great. All right, give me a minute. All right, so we're in time past. He walked according to the course of this world, right? We admit that we all did. But again, like you read, uh, what is that, First Peter uh, 2 and 9, all right? We were taken out of the darkness and brought into his marvelous light, okay? All right, so according to the prince of the power of the air, meaning of this world, all right, which Esau Edom, all right, he's, he's the God of this world here on the earth, okay? He's the, you know, he's the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, all right? And Satan simply means adversary, and devil's talking about man, and in particular is talking about him, the wicked, all right? The lawless one, all right? That man of sin, the son of perdition, which means destruction. That's what Esau represents, death and destruction, all right? Yahweh Bachin, Yahweh Shai represents life, okay? All right, and the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. What? Who would that be? The children of the wicked. You understand that? All right, and that starts with the Edomites, okay? And then you have two-thirds of Israelites that are joined onto Esau. They believe his every word, okay? Yet, he is the deceiver. He's the devil, all right? So among who also we had uh, our conversations in time past uh, in lust of our flesh, fulfilling our desires, right? You know, doing whatever the hell you want because that's the kind of kingdom Esau set up, an anti-Messiah kingdom, a rebellious kingdom, all right? Adverse to the Lord, all right? Particularly for you Israelites to, to stay in sin, to keep you in sin, all right? He set up all these snares. All right? And of the mind. You see that? He's perverted and corrupted your mind, at least two-thirds of you all. All right? And where by nature the children of wrath, right? Because they are the children of wrath. They have the vessels of wrath for, for destruction. Esau, Edom, as you read in Romans 9.22. All right? And throughout the scriptures. Even as others. But the Most High, who is rich in mercy, for great is his love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, he has quickened us, right? You already know what that word means, right? He, he, he's awakened us. He's made us alive, right? Through this word, this truth, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right? Together with you, how we shy, by grace are ye saved, see? And he has raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places, all right? In your how we shy. Let me give you a quick preset. Give me a minute. All right. This is what's getting ready to happen because this is what the Lord does. He raises up the poor out of the dust. He lifted up the beggar from the dunghill. You know, Lazarus and the rich man go read the parable, people, if you're not familiar with it. All right. So to set them among princesses and to make them inherit the throne of glory. And that's what the Lord is doing. He's setting us in order before Esau's eyes. Go read Psalms 50 and 21. All right? Okay? Uh, for the pillars of the earth, the pillars of the earth are the elect of Israelites. You read that in Revelation 3 and 12. All right? So the pillars of the earth are the Lord Yahweh, and he has set the world upon them. Upon who? His elect. All right? He will keep the feet of his saints, who are the Israelites, all right, starting with his elect. And the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. All right, people, you know what? We're going to end this here. We'll be right back with part four. Shalom.